Maraming salamat, Jeffrey. Thank you. So, uh, basically, when I uh, visited this museum, ang naisip ko kaagad ay museum natin. No? So, uh, my sister said, talagang passion mo na talagang tulungan ng museum niyo. Sabi ko, oo. And then, uh, there was a time na nagkaroon ng shutdown sa US, di ba? Then, that, during that time, all the museums were closed. I was really hoping na makakita ako kahit isa, makapasok ako sa kahit isa. So, uh, fortunately, noong uh, February, no, uh, I was able to visit uh, two of them. Though it was just a short time because this was the last part of my stay in the U.S. Uh, about, I was given two weeks no, for extension. So, I tried to um, uh, go no, sa Washington and New York. So I think some of you have seen uh, these museums already, but for uh, the consumption of the group, I was really thinking na sabi ko, sana more staff would be coming here so that you'll see na meron pa tayong magagawa. No? Okay, so just to give you a glimpse, as an overview, last February 8 and 9, I was able to uh, visit no? uh, these two museums, the Smithsonian Museum and the uh, American Museum of Natural History in New York. And uh, this presentation, which I'm going to give you, focuses on the museum design and display ideas that could be recreated for museum proposals in the future. Huh? And um, the uh, objective of uh, this uh, presentation also is also to provide ideas on how to set up proposed museum displays, which you will see later. And uh, for you, you know, for us, to regain enthusiasm, enthusiasm in working out new exhibits to support the request for a new building, which is ultimately ang gusto natin. Diba? Kasi uh, basically, if uh, we can uh, revise our displays, but our building is still the same, then I think it's going to be a little bit useless. No, though, uh, meron naman tayong temporarily na magagawa. Okay. So, uh, let me start with the uh, uh, Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. So, right now, the uh, museum is being, is under renovation. Okay, so uh, basically, um, if you would be entering it, you'll see a lot of scaffoldings, no? especially on the uh, front part. Um, and if you enter it, yung uh, nakita nyo na dito, um, large elephant no, would be uh, welcoming. Okay. So yan, pagpasok mo. And it has about uh, three to four floors. The upper floor would be the curator's uh, rooms. Okay, most of the exhibits and cafeteria are on the ground floor. Okay, so uh, let me start first with the zoological, no? the uh, one where we have the marine and aquatic display. So this is one of the areas where most people would go. Okay, so um, as you see the designs, uh, most of them uh, would have the division of a glass. They are not divided into uh, like you have a uh, blank wall Tapos, then the others would be passing at the back. No, it's something like you can see what is uh, in between the displays. No, so they still have this board type of uh, this one. No, they still have this board type of uh, information. Uh, but basically, it has to be something not flat, but something which is a little bit naka push forward. No, para medyo interactive and that thing. And then they have this, no, as you can see, it's a mirror where you can see the other displays at the back. And then the larger animals, they would normally place on top. These are already on taxidermy. No, these are not models, these are true. Uh, so this is a, that's a true turtle. And this one is a true jellyfish, no, this one. So uh, at first I was thinking it was a model, but actually it was not, no, I was asking the people, no, that's true, because you'll see there on their display if it's a model or not. They place there, no, an information. So uh, if they would be uh, uh, presenting to you a fossilized form, it's their model. But if it's a true one, you don't see that uh, information. So basically, this shark also, no, um, is also on taxidermy form. 
Okay, so they just hang this uh, uh, through uh, some kind of a string, no? uh, basically. So uh, you uh, you don't see it uh, quite clearly, no, yung ano. Uh, but uh, this um, jellyfish-like structure here, there is a rod, okay? So you don't see that string. There is a rod which is definitely supporting it, no? Nalagay ko lang picture ko dyan para magising dalo. <laughs> okay, so uh, bigla akong naalala, no, yung, yung whale natin. Uh, may whale shark tayo dati, no? ay whale shark ba yun? Or something na parang whale din siya, no? So they had this on the upper floor, no? And then I was, suddenly, um, I uh, remembered uh, the time when they uh, were giving us the Baker Hall. Remember, Baker Hall to be the museum. No, then uh, when I saw this whale, this humpback whale, I said, oh, okay, so uh, it's not a good idea for us to be placing a very large aquarium at there at the center of the Baker Hall. Because that was the idea given to us before, that there will be a large tank of uh, uh, marine animals no, with seawater <laughs> inside which is a little bit, uh, I think it's going to uh, be very tedious and magkakaroon tayo ng problema in cleaning and everything, and maintaining it. <coughs> so they had this, no? the larger animals are basically hanging there on the roofs. No? So uh, same thing with this one, if you'll see, no? there is a sailfish there. This is also in taxidermy form already. So it's up there. No? So uh, when the when you see the perspective of the museum, it's a very large area. You don't see any blocking because of the mirrors. No? So I of the glass, pala, glass, glass and mirror. So they use glass and mirror. And also, of course, uh, they uh, had to use uh, some monitors in case you would be needing some information, especially on the ocean area, for people to uh, be able to. Uh, see no? uh, what is going the, uh, on down there. Now, um, I was just very lucky. No, we were just very lucky. When we got there, there were very few people. My sister said, basically, when you go to Washington and New York, you really cannot move anymore. It's just like the Visoria <laughs> when it's Christmas time. <laughs> okay, so uh, we were able to get uh, most of the pictures uh, well, no? so there, no? You don't uh, see them uh, on uh, glasses or bottles. Uh, these were dried already. And uh, even the fish would be in uh, taxidermy already. No? Tapos, they also have, now these uh, flat surfaces, they, these are all posted on the walls. So uh, these ones where you have a uh, solid uh, wall are really on the walls. And uh, they have here the topographic model, which is sand. No, it's not a picture. You really see there. There is a fiber glass or a glass, and then they did the model using uh, stone, sand, etc. And here you see the coral reefs. So uh, there's a family there watching the uh, dive corals, where uh, they have a uh, an aquarium here. No. So also, this is a wall uh, providing, uh, provided uh, between the uh, coral reefs and then the mangrove on the other side. So they had a glass wall. And then they have the uh, taxidermy bird here and then the uh, fish, no? Tapos ito yung sa mangrove. No? On the mangrove, you'll see this information and uh, basically these are the walls already. So they also have this, you know, in bird. Uh, uh, there is the, <coughs> I remember the water which, which we did with resin. So same truth, they also use resin, you know, as uh, parang water. Tapos embed nila yung mga uh, grasses and uh, the other uh, materials like sand and stones, etc. 
Okay, so here you'll see the combination of all the museum collections, museum displays, incorporating new ones. So this is an old picture that they had, and also this one. And uh, but they place here, you no, know, uh, something which is not flat. Uh, ito yung ano na turtle, na parang taxidermy na din siguro ano ito. No? But this fish, wala siya sa tubig, no? It's uh, dry. But itong sa Arctic, when you go there, actually there is also a canoe, no? Uh, on, the, on the other side, which was used by the uh, um, <coughs> indigenous people of uh, the Arctic area. So uh, we have here a taxidermy of a polar bear. No? There. And uh, this is the other side, no? Tapos meron din silang ideas for the smaller, smaller um, displays, no? They, they have a magnifying glass. O nga naman, no? Kasi paano mo ma-appreciate yung uh, big nito, no? If you don't see it, na napakaliit ganyan lang talaga siya, no? So, nilalagyan talaga nila ng uh, magnifying glass. So, these are all still preserved in uh, formally, no? And then, uh, nakita ko rin dito sa National Museum natin that they have uh, dito, yung, uh, same uh, uniform, uniform bottles, no? Para mas maganda tingnan, uniform siya. O yan, straight na yon ha? So I I don't know where they uh, would get this, no. Pero siguro makaka order tayo later pag kami pondo na tayo. So uh, we'll talk about the funding later. So uh, this one is also. Uh, a uh, very large uh, parang jellyfish din yan eh no pero ang laki-laki niya siguro kalahati nitong room na to no oh doon nga oh doon siya sa taas nakalagay basta lahat ng malalaki ng ano nila uh, displays you see them on the upper portion of the museum no you you, saw, you don't see them inside or on on uh, lower grounds no okay so these are very uh, actually this one no yung itong mga like this alder, alder fish. Akala ko naman, I see it on books, it's a big one. Ganyan lang pala siya kaliit. Tapos meron siyang ilaw. Mm. So these are the ones you see on the deep uh, parts of the sea. No? Yung may mga ilaw. These are the glow in the dark. Ito naman kasi, yung mata niya ang nag-glow. No? Mm -mm. Dun sa may lower part. Also this, no? Itong mga squid. So they are also glowing. No? Glowing in the dark. Yung mga yan. Ibote kanya na. Ibote kanya? O, madamihin natin. Isa Venus Flower Basket natin. Ay, gano'n? Bakit? Okay, so uh, the small ones uh, which they would like to uh, emphasize, like the teeth of this uh, large mouth fish, no? teeth like uh, structures, they would enlarge in pictures for people to appreciate. No? Saka, yung words nila, konti lang. You see that the uh, information are not that worthy because people normally would just pass through. No, sometimes they would just look at, ah, what is this? Okay, there are very few who would really read, no, and uh, take a lot of information. Okay, so this one fascinated me because this is about 400 to 650 meters of squid, no, squid yang. So it's placed in a glass. And then uh, it's there on display, naka taxidermy na yan. No? Hindi siya nakababad sa suka or <laughs> sa oh, <laughs> formalin or something. No? It's dried no? and uh, it has been preserved. Kalamaris na malaki. Uh, kalamaris na malaki. No? <laughs> Siguro ilang taon natin yung kakainin. So uh, it's really for real. No? A fisherman eventually um, was able to catch this one. Okay, so same too, no? you see the. Uh, the bones of the uh, underwater animals there at the ceiling. No? So do nila, sino suspend nila yung mga. And they have a mini theater if you would like to uh, have uh, a lot of information about the uh, zoological uh, things that you will see inside. 
Okay, so this part is already on the fossilized forms, uh, which I have recalled before. And um, para meron din tayo mga ganito, no? Kaya kinuhanan ko ng before so yung mga ganyan. Okay, basically what they did, they added numbers, no? So pag makita mo yung display, it's a combination of uh, the uh, illustrations, no? Which you have here, illustrations. And then you have the... Uh, uh, form, no, uh, a 3D form uh, or a live form, and then you have the picture which is great. So it's a combination. It's not just something flat, no, parang ganon, na makita mo, na pag dinaanan mo, okay na. It's something like, once you see it, then you go back. You would always want to go back. So that's the idea, no. A uh, display wherein you don't just uh, see it in one passing, you would always want to go back and look at it. Now, if there are several uh, uh, information, like what we have here for the trilobites, if you would see this trilobites, it's a really big cabinet, no? Where you only see trilobites. And then uh, you see it from Asia to uh, the African, no? And these are not models. These are true, okay? So uh, another thing that they do for this uh, la uh, large number of, uh, of things, they would add numbers, okay? So that the information, sometimes you just read in front of you like that. Then you just see the number. But uh, basically, on the information, you have there the scientific name and where it came from. No, kung saan mo siya makita. <laughs> okay, so it's a large thing, yeah, no? Now, <laughs> now uh, they also had there a portion which is uh, eventually like a wall where they gathered all the trash on in the uh, ocean. And then they did made an artwork out of it. So it is a very long uh, display, no, where you have there several... Uh, if you would look closer, you'll see that these are bottle cups. Yung nasa likod ng turtle, and then yung mga plastics, etc. No? And then yung mga, uh, tawag ito, water bottle, tsaka yung pinag-anuhan ng soft drinks, yung mga ganon. So, uh, they did artwork. This is also an artwork, no? Of uh, those uh, things that are being thrown in the ocean. Yan yun, no? Ito yung parang net. So, uh, 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 so, 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 Neanderthals doon. Okay, so uh, kinat ko na kasi ang dami eh. Uh, umabot ito ng 140 slides. So sabi ko, hindi, one hour lang ito ko kaya. <laughs> pa, ano na lang natin. So, ito parang uh, minas na lang nila sa, in-embed na lang nila sa, sa, <coughs> the plaster of Paris. And then they also had this very big bison, no? uh, which uh, is uh, on taxidermy. This is on the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. It's another story when you go to the American Museum of Natural History. Uh, ma you will be amazed with the diorama. Ito mga to kasi, te technically, parang yung sa atin din. No? Parang, parang sa atin lang din kung paano natin ginawa yung display. But uh, they have the... Uh, uh, young form also, no? And they try to make it in such a way that there is interaction with the other animals. So, pinagsama-sama nila. Para yung diorama natin dyan. Na kita naman natin na, na, na kung paano pagsama-sama yung mga animals and they are in a dynamic way of, uh, these are uh, the prey, no? Yung uh, sa beast, uh, ano? So, makita mo dyan yung uh, attack nila doon sa malaking uh, parang Karabu ba ito? Yung saan ganun. So, these are lions. And they are eventually feeding on the moon. 
Okay, so now we go to the entomological display. No? So the entomological display, unfortunately, has very few people. <laughs> Fewer than what you have there on the zoological. No? Uh, and uh, uh, eventually, you'll see this on the, as, as a welcoming uh, thing, no? and they would uh, provide you information on about botany entomology, and then uh, let you see the display. So this is basically what they have no, as you enter. And now on the right side, there is this tunnel where you have the uh, butterfly garden, but it, you have to pay. Mm -hmm. So that's what they have there, which are, you have live butterflies, of course, and then the host plants, and then you have their um, displays of uh, the egg, larva, and pupa, no? so yung mga ganun. Hindi na pumasok, wala akong pambayad eh. <laughs> so uh, basically, they have this, no, parang uh, welcoming the uh, people for the entomological uh, displays. Okay, so what is in, no, is the insect zoo, which I think we have already started, no? So how do we make our insect zoo? Uh, just like us, they have uh, very few funding for entomological displays. So they asked the Orkin um, group to fund this whole section of entomological display. Okay, so uh, lahat ito was funded by the Orkin group. So uh, as you enter, you see there the mangrove, and then you see some insects, no, uh, um, on the uh, trunks, on the leaves, etc. It's like what we had here, no. But basically, uh, they also have some insects inside those globes. Dito. Yeah. So uh, you'll see some kids you know, looking at, oh, what can you see down there? You know, uh, something which is feeding on the roots. Mm -hmm. mga gano -gano. May live po, ma'am. I don't know. May live insects. Live, oh, oh. So yun ang ano nila ngayon. Yun ang kanilang uh, parang nagpo-focus sila. So uh, the display is not that big just like what we have here, wherein you have fin specimens. You'll see there's some tanks, something like this, for the aquatic forms. There is a tank, and then you see jerrys, you see some uh, belastomatids, no, uh, swimming about, and they give the, them uh, prey or something, especially the predatory ones. So the maintenance is every day. So uh, basically, even for the terrestrial, you have live forms there, no? You have information, but you have live forms inside. So people would stay longer because they would look for the animals inside, no? And this is how they presented the mouth parts, okay? The mouth parts of the <coughs> insects. Ito, no? I try to get a close-up. Redubiid yung ano nila dito. So uh, you see them, no? Um, Yung mga red -dubidig, no? No, so that the clumps sila together dito sa part ng trunk na to, no? And this one is uh, about to attack a prey pero meron siyang kalaban doon. So, yan, no? Nandyan, ikikita niyo sila. If you don't look closer, you'll see that there are only two, no? Pero if you you look uh, very well, pakita mo na meron palang naka-cluster dun sa, sa inside. So they also presented the giants of the past. Ito yung mga one meter uh, mga uh, dragonfly, yung mga ganon, you know, yung mga during the carbonic carbonic carboniferous period. Sorry. So uh, they have an illustration, yung drawing yun. Pero they also did a diorama, no, for that. So yeah, no? so they incorporated the uh, diorama with matching painting for the interest of the public. So, uh, this is the close-up you know, for, for that diorama. And they also were able to get some fossils for termites, yung mga gano'n na nasa amber, so... Tapos meron din silang ganito, yung ginagamit during the Egyptian period, yung mga mummified. Ang kulang lang sa information nila is ano yung mga insects, no? 
Actually, when I saw this, I didn't see any relation with the insects at all. Because okay. there is no, <laughs> basically there is no information about insects that you'll have magos, etc. They just placed it there, no? I think this was a collection of somebody, and then they tried to uh, uh, incorporate it in such a way, because they cannot incorporate this with the zoological. They cannot also incorporate this with the uh, evolution, no? So uh, they tried to place it there at the uh, insect part, but there is very little information or no information at all about insects. Baka yung no? interest ng orchid na sponsored ito. Siguro rin. <laughs> so uh, meron silang mga ganyan, no? Uh, so I think just to relate it, they uh, tried to look for information about the insects which are present during that time, like the scarabs and how they would be using it, no? These are already in framed forms, but uh, larger ones, about half of this one, no? Ang laki niya, itong uh, whiteboard. So they had the locusts, no? Yung as a plague, no? And then the scorpions for agility, no? Mga nila. And then they also use the bees for the propolis for beautifying, no? Yung mga ladies during that time. So yun lang, yun lang ang part na yun, and it's as big as one-fourth of this room. Ganun lang siya. Parang yun nga, ilagay lang Sige. for the sake of uh, having a... Uh, now, uh, there is also this uh, group of insects. These are in live forms already. Okay? So at the back, there is an opening door for them to change the food and uh, get the uh, dead animals, etc. No? <laughs> okay, uh, ang nakita ko dito, this is how they would uh, display the insects. It's at the back. Mm -hmm. no? They would put a uh, metal no, strand at the back and they, they would put the insects there. So that you don't see the pin. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi sa atin, nakita ko kita mo yung pin na nakatusok siyang ganun. So you have to remove that. And uh, once they remove the pit, they tried to uh, seal the hole. No, you try to seal it or repaint it. Okay. So uh, they put first uh, um, some kind of panin para party no ganon no. Tapos they repaint siya. So that's how they do it. No. So kaya natin yung di ba? And then uh, here you see that most of the uh, collections already would be in live forms, no? Like what we have here. So, uh, ah, siya nga pala. When you enter the museum, especially the entomological museum, there's this lady, these are volunteers. They are handling uh, leaf insects or uh, walking sticks, no? Uh, the big ones, yung uh, heteropterygidi natin, no? And then they would be showing you uh, this, no? For you to be interested about insects. Yon. Kaso to sister ko, luka-luka. She told the lady, ah, oh, she's an entomologist. Lumayo na yung lady sa amin. Natakot na tuloy siya. Oh my God. <laughs> so, ito, they also had the PBID, no? Ayan, ayan sila, oh. No? Ito, ito. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, yung uh, mga walking, uh, meron sila, no? Uh, and then also, ayan, no? Yung mga, so they have a picture, tapos uh, you'll see the specimen, large specimen. Oh, so this is also a large specimen in Tarantula. Yeah. Yeah. Ano lang siya, sitting there. Okay, but you see how large it is, no? Halos kasi laki yata ng kamay ko. Okay, so they also have the ants' nest, no? Uh -oh. So, uh, kita mo dito, uh, yung mga itlog, no? Yung, uh, I think sa Ilocos kinakain to, no? Yung parang pot na ganon, yung honey pot. So, they uh, have enlarged this, but you see them inside, no? Ayan. Tapos, uh, there is a section about flies since uh, they are very uh, very little and they are very few. So ito yung nang parang ginagawa natin na nakapin, no? Uh, but they just place very few, very few only. 
and the ones which really gives interest. Hindi yung lahat na parang uh, entom kwan forty ang dating, no? Yung <laughs> klase ang dating. It's uh, more of ano, which ones would give you more information are and are fascinating enough, no? Like these ones where you have this uh, tangled vein fly, okay, wherein they would uh, eventually uh, find it almost similar to this uh, hawk moth, no, with a very long proboscis, and then there's another part there where you have the hummingbird, no, yung may mahaba rin siyang uh, proboscis to get the nectar, so ganun siya. And also, they would also place, no, uh, yung uh, magnifying glass for these uh, insects to be appreciated, especially by the uh, young ones, no. But unfortunately, there are no people. Uh, when, we, when, when we visited there, no, kami lang talaga yung pala nagbabasa-basa talagang ganun, no? And uh, parang yung iba, wala lang. Okay. So, uh, also, what's fascinating about this uh, museum, no, they, there is a playground inside for the kids to appreciate insects. So, meron doon yung uh, parang hive, no? And when you enter, you'll see a lot of uh, things about uh, insects. And there is this thermitaria where kids can uh, go inside, no? And uh, try to play in hide and seek, etc. No? So, parang pumasok ka sa punso. Yun ang ano nila, no? Idea nila about this. So, uh, uh, there are still other uh, displays uh, on the lower lower ground, no? Uh, but basically, in zoological, anthropological landing. Now we went to uh, to New York and uh, and uh, tried to visit the American Museum of Natural History. So, ito naman, if you uh, watch the Night at the Museum, no? Uh, so you have this very large bone of the T-Rex. Uh, which is going to welcome you. The on sa Smithsonian, it's the large elephant, no? Ito si man siya ang ano. Uh, so yung di ba yung nabuhay na naglalaro ng bone yung nahalisan. Okay. So uh, it's uh, one of the museums na medyo populated, no? Uh, especially it's a uh, it's a weekend. But basically there are still very few. They have a lot of bones, no? For for this museum. A lot of excavation for uh, mammoths, for um, dinosaurs, no, etc. Paleontological, so yung mga ganyan, no, marami yan. Actually, uh, there are about three rooms, no, three large rooms for these groups of display. And uh, there is also a very large room for the marsupials, no, uh, yung mga makita niya sa sa mga Madagascar no <laughs> yung mga ganun yung mga sloth mga lemur and then uh, also the um, monkeys etc no so you will see them in uh, action form the way they preserve it it's not yung nakaganon nila siya tapos nakadiin sa wall na ganun no it's not no so you'll see them na uh, very parang they are moving they are in motion Okay, so you also have there a very large uh, uh, glass at the center with a uh, gorilla. No, gorilla na ito? Orangutan. Orangutan? Orangutan. Okay, pero malaki siya. So uh, they also have drawings, no, yung mga ganito, but this is already on the wall. So pwede siya pang, parang pamuno, no? Uh, pamuno for the information. And now they have these miniatures. Actually, I was thinking if I was I'm going to include this, but these ones are just about a foot, no? Yung glass nila, glass frame. And then you see this, uh, this place about just uh, um, four inches na mga ganon, no? Maliliit lang talaga sila. But the, I think the uh, what I'm curious about this is how uh, careful they did the display, no? Talagang they. Uh, uh, really uh, found time to um, re uh, recreate no yung uh, uh, life ng mga tao before and they have this no yung parang uh, storage area pagkalagay nito yung mga red indians no 
Maliliit lang yan, no? Uh, mga ganun lang. Talagang very, this are miniature displays. Oh, even, even the, uh, tingnan nyo, oh, pa, pati yung saging, itong puno, hindi lang siya yung parang uh, we buy uh, plastic uh, leaves, no? And then put them together and then place them there, no? So they, they are really intricately done. So uh, you'll see. If you, even if you would take a picture and close up one, they look real. Now, we go to the diorama. So this is in the American Museum of Natural History. You'll see hundreds of diorama. And then these hundreds of dia diorama, you'll see them like this. No, they are not just flat. Uh, it's like a very good or a beautiful view. So you have here yung mga taxidermy ng mga birds. Yeah, no, on the desert. So they have paintings. Yeah, no, see? Para siyang, di ba? Para na doon ka sa loob ng, ng picture. And then they also include the young form. No, hindi lang yung adult. And then uh, the, uh, the way they would uh, preserve this would be in action, like form. Mga ganyan. Di ba? Parang nagkuha lang ako sa isang pan. No? Pero halo-halo sila, they even have the eggs, etc. No? And then the other species there. So it's not just one, no? uh, just like what we have here. There are several stories. No? Yeah. So mangrove naman po. Iba-ibang species yan. Hindi lang siya isa. Ito, dito ako na-amazed. Itong... Uh, Ay, ito. Ganda, no? Parang... Pag, uh, sabi ko, pagka hindi mo siya maayos na na-preserve, pwede siyang kumulupot, di ba? So, yan, yeah, no? And also, these trees, no? Na, na dun sa up, ng upper part ng tree. Yan, makita mo siya. And then, the eagles, the bold eagles. Ito, ang hindi ko mawari kung paano nila sinaksak yung ano dito. Siguro meron tong, uh, hindi ko makita eh. I was trying to see the uh, the wire or uh, the bar or something, no? For for them to be placed. Because I don't see any strings, no? On the upper portion. I didn't see any strings. I was looking for a bar or something. Sa baba or hindi ko alam eh how they did it. But uh, this is something amazing also. Tapos ito yung sa mga meadow, no? You have uh, several uh, small birds. Ano pa? Ano sa... Pati yung uh, pag-preserve nila ng mga leaves, no? Ng mga... Or, I think they, these are just uh, paper mache or something, no? So, uh, this one, no? you see them in... Uh, if you don't see the uh, delineation of the cabinets, then you'll see... The You'll say that they are real, really, no? Yan. So, uh, naalala ko dito yung ginagawa natin tubig-tubig dati, yung sa resin, no? So, yan. Ginaya lang sa atin talaga yun. <laughs> okay, so, yan. Ay, hindi na ako yan. <laughs> so, um, they also have this, no? Yung sa mga deer, etc. So, this is not a picture. They, they are on taxidermy form already. Tapos yung mga beavers, no? And they, they really try to uh, work it out in such a way that you have the natural uh, state of the animals. No? Parang buhay pa rin naman din sila, pati yung kanila sa habitat. So, this one amazes me in live form. No? Pag nandun ka, in real form, it's really like you are in the uh, area na siguro pag tum uh, tumayo ako dito hanggang dito na ako ng bison, no? <laughs> so, uh, mas maganda siya sa natural, no? Sa life. Uh, makikita mo talaga yung view, tapos yung how real they are. So, you know? so they also have the moose, etc. So, uh, these are uh, actually uh, contained on and the upper portion, tapos you'll see them on the walls of the whole museum. So, ang ganda. Maganda yung makita. So, um, that ends the picture. So uh, for the recommendations and suggestions, so uh, we can rearrange and uh, curate our displays to figures in motion, no? So uh, later, if we were able to, I think na in motion naman yung iba, no? Uh, siguro ano lang, yung parang 
retouch lang ng konti or ayusin lang ng konti na hindi sila mukha talagang uh, dead, no? Parang yun. And then, uh, retooling of the stop regarding curation. So, if there are training or uh, even locally or abroad, no, maybe the museum can send uh, some of you no, or some of us uh, to uh, help uh, later no, and for future purposes in terms of curation. Because there are new techniques on how to create, uh, to curate. No? Uh, of course, it's a very um, parang overwhelming for us to know the how to curate and how to know the uh, um, the way uh, our professors have taught us no in terms of curation but maganda rin yung matutunan din natin yung bago hindi uh, i'm not saying that we throw the old things that we know sometimes it's uh, also one of the best no but it's also nice to know so the new ones so you can compare and then exposure trips, ayan na, trip trip tayo sa iba-ibang museums para, para pagka may pondo ha, floor. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we can uh, see no? also their displays. Kasi ano, maganda rin no? na makita mo uh, kung paano, not just uh, by hearing uh, a presentation like this, what I'm doing. No? Uh, Kasi talaga, when, when I saw this displays, museum talaga yung naisip ko. Kasi ang hard ko nasa museum. Kasi my first job is in the museum, really. No, it's a project uh, with Dr. Gapud. Then, to motivate staff, of course, on your creativity and resourcefulness. We have so many creative people in the museum, and I do believe that, no? Because I have worked in, uh, with most of you already. Saka resourceful naman tayo, no? kahit hindi ka taga museum, Filipino, resourceful talaga. Hindi sasabihin yung walang pera, no, uh, nothing to use. No? And then of course, utilize a variety of materials in the designs. No? Not just, uh, for example, that just wood, uh, we can uh, add uh, soil, etc. No? Cement, etc. But we have to, of course, uh, um, uh, disinfect. No, disinfect the uh, things that we have to place inside. Kasi, uh, baka invest na makatulong, lalo pang makasira, no? Baka may anay, o di, naubos yung ating mga display or yung ating mga frames. So, of course, a proposal for a new building, no? Uh, proposal for a new building is really a must. Uh, during the time of Dr. Drueso, no? I think uh, there was a blueprint which was already drawn also the time of Dr. Kalilo. Uh, as I recall, uh, I was working with the museum already during that time, and it was a three-floor uh, building, which was supposed to be uh, constructed. And it appears sa uh, Forest Street uh, Graduate School, and then the building that they are constructing now. That was supposed to be the site, but everybody, uh, most of the people who heard, uh, who were there during the meeting, uh, said it's not feasible because of the traffic. No, you cannot see the ones going up and do, do you do not see the ones going down. So, baka daw magkaroon ng malaking aksidente, parang ganon. So, big no, no, no. Then, there was the proposal of the Baker Hall. No? But hopefully, no, still hoping na bigyan tayo. Parang may nanilig din ako in front. Daw, napapatayo. Parang no, sa tabi. Dito, dito sa tabi. Dito sa tabi. Ay, magkabila. Magkabila. Kaya extend Para lang siya. Pati hindi pa isang malaki na lang at extension. May picture nyo. Sige, picture So, once a new building is constructed, we can have the adapt a section scheme. I think we had a meeting before with the entomological section about this. We were supposed to write the Ayala, the Lopez, etc. about a adapt a section. But, uh, I don't know if that pushed through. No, parang si Amy pakasama natin no, no, no. And uh, this is a proposal for a private funding, just like what they did with the National Museum, no? So adapt a section, which is also going to be a good one. Ang problema lang, if you don't have a new building and there is this adapt a section, the one who's going to fund will even ask at the back of his mind, will I have to construct a new building for them to have the, my display inside? Diba parang na no? So, oh, maganda kung nandun na yung building, the building's already there, and then we have this adapt section. Madami mag-a-adapt dyan na mga uh, 
Sana umabot tayo ng 2022. Patakpal election uli. No? <laughs> so, kailangan sila magpapogi uli. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, collect new specimens for taxidermy no? and uh, other displays. So, collection. I think uh, this one is uh, what most of you are already doing. No? Yung pa-collect na ng... Okay, so, uh, thank you for